I don't know, mate. I don't think it should be that colour. And there definitely should be all those hairs down the shaft. Oh, nice, we're on, we're on. Welcome back to the manor house. And it's all change because at the end of the corridor here, opposite to where our distribution board is, there's a, a, a bally great hole, Nigel. That wasn't there before because we've, uh, we've had the plumber in. All the plumber has been in. All, uh, all he was supposed to do was change your washer. <laughs> That's plumbers for you, always sucking air through their teeth and finding extra work. So what's changed here? Well, it's hard to visualise actually because I'm trying to remember it myself. There was a little entranceway here, wasn't there? Here. What was there? What was there? Oh, that was a... Um, Yes, there was a door here. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. That went into this bedroom. So yeah, that door. bedroom had a, an entrance where where Nigel's standing. Or a, 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 it was a sort of L-shaped room. Behind Nigel was the ensuite to this bedroom. And that's now all been opened up. Uh, up there was the loft hatch where I had to squeeze through to get into that terrible loft space. So all this has been opened up, and uh, I, I'm not quite clear on the plans. The plumber's left a kind of... Oh, here we go. It's, it's underneath the toothbrushes. So what have we got going on here, Nige? So it looks like we're going to still have an entranceway here, leading into this room, um, leading into what will be a bathroom here. And then in here, where it's been marked out on the floor, they're going to be putting in a... WC with a shower. So we're still going to have a, a kind of ensuite. We've taken some of this room's been taken out to provide uh, a shower and loo. Uh, we're going to have a bigger bathroom here. That bedroom is going to be knocked through into here to make a larger bedroom, and that bathroom's going to be going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. And that's 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 the first we've seen of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, after being notified last week that it was happening. The plumber who's gone off site now and left us to it, he says uh, these lights were working, now only one of them works. That one he wants gone to put a new loft hatch in. Fair enough, this is more LAP down lights stuff, which yeah. we saw in the previous video. Uh, as you can see, there's cat wiring everywhere. Um, we weren't brought in for decommissioning, so the plumber's just ripped everything out and, well, it exposed the mess and what we're effectively going to do is just trace this back to good above us in the attic because it all comes from the db2 position which is at the other end of the corridor trace this back to good and effectively rip it all out lighting um, sockets all gone and we'll be plumbing in new eventually it should look pretty spesh when finished Apparently the plumbing in this place is as bad as the electrics because the plumber was telling us that the, uh, the hot water comes from over there all the way over to here and then back again, and then back again before it goes to the kitchen so um, and he reckons a two metre bit of pipe in the utility room would sort it out. Obviously we're not privy to plumbing parts but um, it seems that there's, there's all kinds of plumbing finnies as well as electrical tomfoolery going on here. I've got to, uh, that must have been a wall light there. Uh, there was a ceiling light there, that was that well, class 2 light, wasn't it? That wasn't really class 2 that yeah, we were looking at. I think at. that is powered. They're effectively, that's effectively an extension lead, it's on a plug top and it serves lighting in the attic, so that can go, although we do want to retain some lighting in the attic, so we'll have to put something temporarily in there. We've still got some of the original old electrics hanging around. Obviously not in use. Well, that's a bit of conduit, isn't it? Or is it a gas pipe? It wouldn't be screwed like that, would it? No, you wouldn't have gas coming up here, would you? Well, you got... It's going over this way. All sorts up here from old water pipes. Moody junction boxes to get rid of. <clears throat> Better get jiggy with it, I suppose. Yeah. Sorry mate, what was that? I said, 
Oh, I can't do that shit myself. <laughs> you already did. Well, I'm one push away from touching cloth. Right. Let's do it. Let's get on with it. Ideal insure box. This is a, uh, a maintenance free junction box you may have seen or Jimmy Beck showing it on his channel. Uh, it meets the requirements of BS5733 for maintenance free enclosures if that's what you want. Uh, we don't necessarily need to be maintenance free up here so I'm trying to find somewhere to put this camera down without falling through the goddamn ceiling. We don't actually need to be maintenance free up here. Um, this is just a temporary, a temporary thing. On the end of our, one leg of our ring, I've put on some ideal splice line connectors. These are orange through connectors. I'm going to put that in there, and we're just going to shove it out of the way. There we go. That's closed off. Obviously, to meet the requirements of BS five seven three three, we are supposed to cable tight shut so it can't be opened without the use of a tool. Again this isn't going to be something that's kept here, it's just a way of keeping it out of the plumber's way for now. And we're going to downgrade that circuit because we've, we're no longer going to have a ring here. Uh, right okay that's me done up here, I've got to negotiate my way out without dropping anything on Nigel's head now. Hello. <laughs> Coffee? Yeah, coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love wow. a coffee. White with sugar? <laughs> Hez hazelnut latte, white. medium foam. <laughs> Just one sugar. A little yeah. cookie. White, white with one sugar, David. He doesn't have any sugar. Yeah, just, white, just white. White with no sugar. Thank you very much. What's happening up there? All the spaghetti and clearing. Yeah, you're clearing away the spaghetti. It's a bit of horror show up here. So all this is going as well. No, I don't think no. so. No? Oh, well, you're not, you're not vaulting up to here. Oh, no, we're just having the barrel. Uh, the barrel. I know you wanted to go all the way up. Oh, no, that's oh. so cold. All the air would go to the top. How frozen. disappointing. And anyway, the other rooms have all got barrel ceilings, so we're keeping the there barrel ceiling thin. That makes our life easier. It does. It does. Does it? We thought you were going oh, all the no. way up. Oh, no, I couldn't bear it. David, in my bathroom, mm. there's a little green and yellow wire poking out of the wall by the loo. The oh, other. that's an old earth bond. Can I just push it back through the hole? That's yeah, did we leave that out? Yeah, yeah, I can go. Yeah. yeah so if it just right, okay, I can just go in there. All right. Did you like your lights? I do. I think they're very nice. I've got them on. I think daylight. <laughs> oh, I thought that wasn't oh, your I bag. Like the daylight lights. I think. What did you leave it on? Warm white. Oh, in that case, it's warm white. <laughs> well, it's strange all round. Then I like daylight. Then went back to what you. Feels thought. like he's sitting in the sun. With the daylight. Oh. Well, anyway. She doesn't know. No. She doesn't know, really. So it's this is great, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to look like this, yeah. So are you going to have your door going in, or are you having it No, we're deciding we're going to move the whole wall back. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so your yeah. door, door's going back to there. Yeah. So how much smaller is the bedroom going to be? Hmm, it's different from we just oh, imagine. Oh, oh, Christ. You go and find out what's actually happening down there. I'm going to have a look at these down lights. <laughs> so we got some screw fix down lights in the bathroom, which we looked at last time. I'm not a huge fan of them because they're not made for Twin and Earth. And Twin and Earth is what you always find, so you end up with this horror. Look at the state of that. Just a mess, isn't it? Earths are all cut off. Or CPCs, I should say. Only the middle one's working at the moment. And sure enough, what we have here is a connector block that once once part of a ceiling rose for a pendant or batten fitting in that room. And uh, someone sort of left that, left it exposed, hung some down lights off it. Uh, so you've got your neutral switch line going into this down light, which is working. And then coming off that. Oh. And coming off that, it seems a daisy chain to this one, so I'm not sure why the rest of them aren't working. 
this one's got to go anyway because I put a new loft hatch in here. So, uh, because this wood stain, isn't it? So I'm not sure what's, what's going on there, why they're not working, because they do appear to be connected on the face of it. And they were working. You got it. There she blows. It's right, one out of the way. Fucking awful those down lights. But we got them back on. Cable just wasn't push fitted correctly. Sorry to deprive you of a, a Pratt fall there, Nige. I guess you don't get your 250 quid out of you being framed. Oh, we <laughs> So we've removed one. And obviously, because they're such a fucking mess up there, we're going to have to tidy them up so that they're safe for the plumber to work around. That's a pain in the ass. And it's obviously a shoddy install in the first place. And remember, what we said in the first video, the guy who lived here, you kept claiming, didn't he, that he always had a proper electrician in for the work. And these LAP lights, where's that one you took out? Is there a manufacture date on them? Because he's kind of been in for very long, can he? Well, here we go. 2018, week 40. So these were made fairly late on. Just over a year ago. Yeah. So these must have gone in. These have probably only been in a year. And that's the quality of the installation work. I wonder if this whole bathroom is only like a year old. Could be. It is quite new looking, isn't it? And again, look, they've, they've cut the holes too big when they put the down lights in. Sign of a professional job? No. I reckon that's because the previous owner was selling and put it on the market. He just got someone in Early 2019. In yeah, he got someone in cheap, put in a bathroom to smarten it up. Because maybe it was a bit, just a bit of a dive before, maybe he even did it himself, I don't know. I mean, the, the quality of the finishes isn't terribly great. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it just bonged in, right? It was, yeah. Basic white paint, bung in a, a basic bathroom, screw fix specials on the down lights with their IP65 stickers still slapped on them. They're even fucking, look at that, they've had to bosh around that hole and paint it. That's where the original light would have been. Yeah, there was a, a baton fitting or something there. Yeah. It's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Just, when people do that, just smarten something up and the next people just rip it out. But what can you do? Just my hands. Everything that was hanging around on these walls is gone with the exception of a ideal box down there. But this wall's coming down. Uh, it's just that we can't get, obviously, to the, the stuff over there. We think there may be a socket that that's going to. Uh, so when they're ready to take that down, we'll come and find out where that's going. As I said earlier, we split the ring in two. We've got two radials here now, so we're gonna downgrade the fuse for the sockets. It'll all get rewired eventually. We have four working lights and one removed so that they can put the loft hatch in and that switch pull cord in there is now going to that light there which has had its switch drop removed the reason for that being that this will be one room eventually here she comes the work wife uh the attic lights are on a, we didn't tell him about did we the attic lights are now on a um Outside. Switch up there, switch off at present, and we've temporarily put this bedroom on a pull cord. Uh, obviously there will be a stud wall being built here, and our switch drop will be in that stud. Luke, the guy doing it all, is going to be building all that. I think he's, he said he's, he's working, did he say he's working tomorrow and then he's away for three weeks? Yeah. 
Uh, and we're going to pop back while he's away and have a, a close look under this floor. See if there's anything lurking under there that scares us for the future, especially in terms of downstairs services. Because obviously, once this new bathroom's in and this floor's covered over, we're not going to have any access under there, are we, Martian? No. So if there's anything we need to get under there, any new cables or whatever, we'd better get to the bloody hell on with it before it all gets covered over forever. What we've got, you're going to like this. Uh, not a lot. Do I like it? Conduit and black rubber. Now, been to the end of the black rubber and that's disconnected. This conduit is what the house was originally wired in. This probably dates back to when do you reckon, Nigel? Oh, Elizabethan. <laughs> this is probably maybe 20s, 30s, something like that. Yeah. So they used to put in this, can you imagine it? Putting in this conduit around the place, then pulling the cables through it. I think it's a neat way of doing it, but it's not very good for. Oh my god, it'd be so time consuming though, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. So um, that's the way they, they used to do it. And there's some, there's some proper workmanship involved in that. Okay. And then what you've got here, this is something a bit more modern. This is the rubber. 50s, 50s, Again, 50s. horrible stuff. The rubber breaks down. It. So th this isn't live. Let's put this floor. Up. This is something that's gone in, perhaps around the sort of 50s or 60s, yeah, as Nigel says. I've found the end of that, and that's disconnected. So. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. I've just had an email saying, "Could David Savory Electrical Services Limited be ECA's Contractor of the Year?" No. <laughs> No, he could not. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get for it? You get know. to advertise the ECA, do you? Maybe on the front cover of Professional Electrician magazine. Oh, he's already been on it. You well, need to demand who hasn't? Quite, need to demand <laughs> quite a fee for it, wouldn't you, this time? I mean, your modelling career might be taken up. Oh, I <coughs> sunny this time of year, isn't it? Just, uh, you don't want to get sunburn, mate. You don't want to get the sunburn. This is barrier cream, and it's for small building solids. Blah blah. Solids. I've got you saying this shit on the last video. This is for small building solids to stop my arms coming up all lumpy, like your fucking uh, your hemorrhoids. <laughs> You shouldn't be up to your elbows up my arse, should you? <laughs> Not I think we need to. Oh, there's a bit of wood there. I got wood. <laughs> so I see. <laughs> I thought it was just the way your trousers rocked up. <laughs> Nigel's using my, uh, my new Makita SDS there. What do you think, Nigel? Uh. It does the job. It's not as heavy duty as the 36 volt, but it does it okay. Because I've ditched Ryobi in favour of Makita. I don't want to say that's because Nigel's is right about these things, because he's not, obviously. Uh, the Ryobi has done me well, but the multi-tool keeps letting me down. Um, so I decided to switch ecosystem, and I looked long and hard at things like DeWalt, whose colour I prefer. I like a nice sunny colour on my power tools rather than this depressing midnight blue. Midnight blue? That's not even midnight You don't want to see that on a Monday morning, do you? Nice, smooth, matte, bluish. It's not midnight blue. But I figured if I were going to change tools and change batteries, which is a big, big... Uh, you get into an ecosystem. Yeah, don't you, a big batteries. change to make. Mind you, my Raby batteries are getting a bit old now. They're at least two to three years old. The five amp hour ones. I bought them just before I came off that registration. Yeah. So um, I thought I may as well go for the same ecosystem Nigel uses. Then we can share batteries. I can nick his batteries when he buys new ones, and he can have my scrappy ones. And uh, we've got the same charger. And uh, funnily enough, Nigel's already broken my 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 key to multi tool. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> it didn't quite last as long as Mike Rarey did it. No. He hasn't busted it, he's, he's, he's wonked to the head. Let's uh, <laughs> love to fish it out and show the wonky, wonky head. head. It's just the story of my life. In fact, if I delve into my uh, box here, there's my wonky head, Makita. Lots of other people on Twitter saying the same thing has happened to them. So, um, 
apparently it goes off cock and then stays off cock forever. Although well, Makita themselves say it shouldn't do that. Nigel thinks I should send it back under warranty, but everyone else says it's, it, it does that. So should there send we go. It back under warranty, they could, they quit. Yeah, but everybody else says. Even even people like Jordan at Artisan Electrics has got this problem, and they all say well, it, and you think it their word is better than mine. I said yeah. to drill back within two weeks of buying it because it was nasty, it failed, and I had it back within two days of sending it. Yeah, maybe so, but I mean, if, what's the point if it's just going to happen again? Anyway, let's talk about this job. But I've got to say, uh -huh. I've had mine for years now. My DTM fifty is it the mortgage tool. Uh, my head's never gone wonky. I'm backing away because I'm going to turn off the plumber's radio. Don't want that on in the background, do we? Uh, this area here has now been ripped and stripped. We, we had some of this on film, didn't we, when we came and sort of started decommissioning. A stud wall is going in right across that doorway there, so that's, that's obviously going. They've knocked a hole through there. That's going to be a new, new entrance to the... What's this here? I thought this was going to be a doorway. Uh, oh no, that's all going to be one bedroom, isn't it? So that wall's yes. all good. Oh look, they've opened that wall up now. We can find where our... Oh yes, there it is. There's there. our inshore box down there. Yes. I believe we split the ring up here last time we were here. It certainly feels like we split our ring over here. So I think we've got two radios up here now. We're going to be rewiring everything here. Although the source wiring going back to the board is still old at this time it will get changed out eventually but uh, let's have a closer look at what's what the, the plumber has done he's built this stud wall so we now have an entrance through to here the wall that was on the back of the bedroom is now half gone because this area here is going to be a shower shower area so we're going to stick um, probably another one of those skull more lights up there We've got to cut the hole today. Oh fuck! Who's done that? That wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> the plumber's just gone. He's like, it's only just happened because that wasn't like that when we got here a few minutes ago. He'd gone to lunch now and he's probably pissed right off. So the bedroom that's here has now been brought inwards. We've got new stud wall going up, which we've got to put some services on, uh, some socket outlets, uh, some light switches. How's that light switch, Nigel? That's got to be a good sort of one and a half metres, isn't oh, it's it? A, it's a good height there, but I guess it's in keeping with the rest of the property. Exactly. It's not Part M compliant, but then this isn't a new build, so we're, we're matching accessory heights for what else is in our line around the place. Um, ordinarily, if this were a new build, we'd drop that down to uh, 1,200. Yeah. Over here, oh, tripping over the bag. Near the, the interesting porthole window is what was an ensuite. And if you may recall from, I think, our first video, we were looking at a shonky light in there. That was a class two fitting, supposedly pretending to be. No, it was a class one fitting pretending to be a class two fitting, wasn't it? Yes, that was during uh, the test phase. And had been wired completely to cock as far as class two is concerned. So that's all gone, which is nice. That whole bathroom is gone. And this is going to be just a WC here. Uh, did they say they're having a downlight in here? They must have been. I think it's just one downlight. We're going to put a timed fan in there. I thought they mentioned a pendant. It may have been. Uh, there's just a bathroom light in an uh, extractor. There. We'd better find that out before we cut any holes. So we're here today to cut whatever downlight holes are going into these areas here, to cut whatever fan holes are going in. We're going to have a humidistat fan above the shower. We're going to have a timed fan above the WC because there's no openable window in there. In fact, there'd be no window at all by the looks of it. Mm. Uh, this area here, we're going to do pretty much bugger all in for the moment. That will have some kind of lighting, but we're waiting for instructions to what kind. Not too fussed about that at this point. They can go ahead and repair that damage and plaster the thing because we can access that from the loft above, which remains a shithole. We want a PIR and pendant in this. Well, yes, this is an interesting area. space, isn't it, Nigel? We have what here a transitory space. So you walk down here, but let me back up a bit. Let's say. You've had a few too many, and you, you're walking down towards your bedroom like this. And you, you get into this space, and you turn off the light, which turns off the light behind you, 
and you're plunged into darkness because where Nigel's standing there'll be a door, so that's a separate bathroom. There'll be a door there to your bedroom, whose light switch is going to be over here. So what does one do with this small transitory space? We can either put in two-way switching, so you get to this point, hit a light switch here to turn it on, stumble over to here, hit a light switch here to turn it off, which seems a bit... It's a bit of a, a lava. It's a bit pointless. It's a bit really, messy. Isn't it? yeah, it's not the best solution. No. So we're thinking of perhaps uh, a motion sensor uh, installed in such a way that as you come through, a light illuminates, and yeah. after you fuxki offski, the light illuminates uh, or vice versa well not vice versa or all the same if you're exiting the bedroom to go out into the landing so uh, we might do something like that here haven't decided yet and again we need to speak with the client really uh, so we'll do that in the meantime we better make use of the fact that the plumber's at lunch and crying about the hole in the ceiling and do some dirty drilling work yes the Makitas. The Makitas. Let's go! Wanker. It's a very sporty looking van the plumber's got, isn't it? How can plumbers get such sporty new looking vans and we get beaten up rusty vans? The laser's out. Uh, I've said before, we said it on our, one of our wall chasing videos, if you're Using this to line up our switch boxes, I always pass the laser through the lugs. If the uh, if the laser passes through the lugs, oh, there's another box to go over here. You see, if the laser passes through the lugs, then you know damn sure those two accessories are going to be lined the fuck up. Some people um, like to pass them on the top of the bottom of the box, but I like to know that line is going through the lugs myself. So, uh, what, what's your stance, Nigel? I'm a big knob, David. Like that. That's my stance. <laughs> oh, oh, I do believe a little bit of poo just came out of there, Nigel. Back in this goddamn loft again. Right, we're above the ceiling here. There's something buzzing around me. As the electrics you see up here will be coming out. There's the hole in the floor the plumber's just made. On the ceiling rather. So uh, cause it's just an abomination up here and the roof's going to be redone in a couple of months so it should be a different loft soon enough. Just look at my nice Ryobi work light, that's uh, just the, the king of lights that is. But what I should have around here now is my down light hole which is just there. And I'm about to put in a fan hole, but I just want to make sure there's nothing in the junction box there. Yeah, now we're clear. Right. Oh, I'm too old for this. Right, that's us for another day. What have we done, Martian? What have we done? I'll tell you what we've done. We've fallen through the fucking ceiling. Made a big hole in the plumber did. And we've cut our fan holes. And we've cut one of the down our holes, not the other one yet. The other one's on a, a bit of angled ceiling, so we're thinking adjustable. Yes. Thing. We've got our switches in. They're quite so, quite high, aren't they? They are. But uh, as we said earlier, though, not to match what's already here. Hours. Yeah, so never mind. Everything's in line. We've got a couple of sockets in. If I just get past Nigel's asshole there, you can just see one there. Uh, and our fan isolate positions, which are also our junction positions, are uh, about two meter thirty from floor level. So again, quite high, but they're not going to be used every day. We're having we were, we ha we're going to put the timed fan in there, weren't we, in the WC? But she's asked for a switched fan now, so we've we've put a three core switch drop in. Obviously none of it's powered, it all goes into the attic and it'll all be wired in to nice new circuitry with RCD protection or RCBO protection once we get our new board in. So the guys doing the stud work here, I'm going to be here, I think they're here next week but not after that. So that gives us a bit of time to get that board changed. But for now, it's fuck off o'clock. And it's Friday the 13th. Yeah. 
And we're going to go and self-isolate. Yeah, for, for the weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that bit of a blaster. What are you doing, you old fanny frotter? Marking out for a, uh, a box. Old Man Martian is uh, about to cut in a couple of fan isolator positions. We were here, uh, March, you know, it's three months, three months since we were here. We expected to be back in like three weeks. Yeah. And um, because of all this lockdown. The world got sick. Stuff. Everything's gone on hold. So obviously there's, uh, there's been a bit of movement on the bathroom since we were last here falling through the ceiling and that. Well, there's some tiling been done and there's a shower rail in there and there's a ceiling even plastered painted ceiling looks rather switched doesn't it now Angel? it's always tricky isn't it because with these sort of jobs you think oh yeah i'll, I'll remember what i've done now i remember where that is because we'll be back in a couple of weeks and when it ends up that circumstances dictate that you end up not coming back for three friggin months you forget what the hell you've done <laughs> unless you were uh, had the forethought to take some notes and records did you take any notes Nigel? Didn't need to, you videoed Yeah, fortunately we do have a bit of it on video. <laughs> if you just had to rewind the SD card to uh, have a look at where some of our wiring was and what on earth we were talking about when we were last here, because we've quite forgotten. Now, um, we're going to try and get some board prep in today, aren't we, for our move yes. uh, to get rid of um, the old second board there, the old re uh, rewirable fuse box break box. Uh, we're going to try and locate a new box downstairs. Um, so we're going to need to pull several cables from that position into the downstairs area in preparation for that. So it's going to be a bit of a shit day. You in the lower attic, I suspect. Me in the upper attic because of my more svelte figure. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying I'm slightly less of a fat bastard than you are. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll um, we'll try and get some cables between the two points. It's going to be pretty filthy, pretty dirty. It's, it's quite humid outside, isn't it? The, the it's warm in here. Hot sunshine is broken, but it's still quite warm. So it's not going to be much fun in that filthy attic. The roofers are sticking on a new roof as we speak. They're scuffling outside, a new roof going on. And the only thing that worries me is that we've got a beautifully plastered, painted flat ceiling, and I've got to clamber over that to get through the attic to where I need to be at the other end. And we noticed when we were last here falling through it that there's quite a bit of flex on the woodwork up there. As soon as uh, a fat, foul-mouthed electrician gets atop the thing, it starts to bend and buckle a bit. So we did ask if it could be strengthened to cope with uh, our, our clambering over it. We don't know if they have or not. So maybe that when I try and get up there, I knock all the plaster off the ceiling. Let's go and attempt it now, shall we, Nigel, and see what happens. Have you got your radio on you? Oh, yeah. I'll turn it on. Let's uh, turn on our comms devices. Woko, woko, Charlie, Charlie, kitty fiddler, kitty fiddler. No. No? Yeah, testing, testing, testing. call sign. <laughs> Uh, a new loft hatch has been cut in for us because the old one was well in that bathroom wasn't it where, where we were as you can see and someone's yeah they've gone to some effort to they have it's, it's, it's quite a bit there. of resistance here Fucking hell. Blind. Speaking of blinds, let's open this one so we can see, see what we're doing. Bleeding hell. Just have to remember, Nigel, if you're having a poo later on, as you know, that will to shut the blind, otherwise, you're going to give the roofers a uh, beautiful view. Oh, shit, you might want to let that settle for a minute. Yeah, we should have a mask on. Looking for new woodwork. Well, 
It's all insulated, thick insulation, yeah, so I don't know looks. if it's strengthened it or not. So yeah, we won't be able to see where we're treading now. Alright, let's go and see. Oh, it's actually quite light up here where there's no roof on. Ah. Not the easiest of spaces to get in and out of this, is it? Let's put the camera down a minute. Oh, I'll try and ease my buttocks into the place. Oh. Fuck. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's the hole I've got to get through. There's insulation absolutely everywhere. So this has all got to friggin' be moved Careful. so I can see where I'm going. No, they haven't strengthened anything up here. This is still the bath and plaster. Yeah. Okay. You don't want it flexing as you get on it. Oh, I really don't know about this. We were going to be... Have they filled up the hole? Yeah. Shit, they've it, uh, it's the roofers, isn't it? Doing part of the roof. It's all the way along. All the way along. Oh. Right. Let's demask now that I'm in position. There's Nigel's rod. We're going to pull a bunch of cables from below in order to extend the current existing circuits down to the new board position. Nige is down there somewhere, but you can see some light. That's him in the lower attic. See if we can raise him on the radio. Savon to Harris, come in, Harris. Oh, mate, where are you? I have your rod in my hand. Oh, lovely, I didn't even notice. I'll start tying the first ones on the end. I think we need uh, four one mils. And seven two fives, seven two and a half mils. So now I'm just going to tie a one and a two five onto this rod. And I'm going to haul it in, and then we've just got to rinse and repeat until we've got enough up here. And then first one ready to pop. Roger two four. Once we've got them all up here, we can drop them down. To a position where we can terminate them onto the existing circuits. And then the board that's on the landing can move down into the utility room then. Okay, I have the ends here, I'm just gonna get it off the rod. <laughs> because this attic is now so when you got enough and I can start measuring for cutting this then. Sound there, Mac. Uh, because it's all black attic is fairly awkward to get into now, it was awkward before. It's even worse now, now that it's been insulated and um, the loft hatch. Now means you've got to clamber over a very delicate piece of ceiling. So we don't want to be in here any more times than we have to be. Okay, I'm sending the rods back down. I haven't uh, got enough cable through yet, though. Okay, mate. Yeah, I have it. You, you, you want it all? Sorry, yeah, I was about to pull it all through, wasn't I? <laughs> Sorry, mate. What an asshole. I've got the other end of it. Okay. Let's just label this one and two. I don't need enough slack to get down to somewhere around there. Let's give ourselves a good, what we got there? One meter, two meters. Oh, what's he doing down there? Three meters. Four. 
Fuck it. Four metres. Okay, that ought to be enough. I'll do that a few more times now. Cock! And ball. Today is the day, Martian, that the old boy goes into retirement. Yes. We salute you, sir, and your 40 years of magnificent service, but it's time to bugger off. So we've got our new feeds coming down into this cupboard here, which is originally where we we're going to site the board in here, but they want yeah. to shelve it out, don't they? So we're going to be relocating the board down to the utility room. We've got our new board there. Got some RCBOs. We've got a DIN rail enclosure here, which we'll be using to extend all our circuits down. So our, our new feeds that are above Nigel's board head are, um, will be taken down into that cupboard into that plastic enclosure where we'll be terminating them off onto DIN rail connectors to send the feeds down into the attic down here where they come out into the utility room and then we'll be placing our new board on the wall and that's a temporary location yes annoyingly so enough they're going to extend are they now? yeah there's going to be changes to that utility room so we'll be putting it quite high up on the wall for now now consuming units are supposed to be 1200 off the floor we're going higher than that temporarily until that room itself gets ripped out and rejigged and or well, even though it's temporary some people might go oh you should be doing that even if it's temporary well it's going to be more accessible than that thing is up there yep. so uh, you know, we're not making things any worse by doing that, but we can't delay it anymore We need to get the RCD protection in place because we've got new circuits We're running in we've for things like the bathrooms that are now Well, nearly finished and furnished. In fact, we haven't seen that yet, have we? There's still some work to do. They're not quite ready for us yet. You can see we've still got some uh, No lights around here. That's because some, some idiots haven't connected them yet. <laughs> I'll put them in but obviously this bathroom is pretty much finished. There's a ceiling that I fell through before, waiting for a light to go up. Oh, that was a massive mirror. There's the shower enclosure waiting for its light and fan. It is a big mirror, isn't it? Could you imagine masturbating in front of that mirror, Nigel? Well, I can imagine my magnificent body coming out the shower and seeing myself in the mirror. Not quite get in here, but yes, this one's also not completed, but certainly in a state where we can get the lights working, but obviously we can't do, we can't go commissioning new circuits without RC protection. So we've got to get this board in place and the old board gone so that we can start actually commissioning some of the new stuff we put in. And uh, that's today's task. I've just been inside the cupboard and the foot you're not supposed to set that board off you fucking idiot I just decommissioned before. <laughs> the Denman's board uh, we always knew there was going to be something left inside yeah, there because the the tails come in come into here and there's no room in the meter box to accommodate anything No, I just got it isolated off there, but not safely isolated. You haven't locked it off, Nige, you silly wanker. I'm, I'm sat next to it. I'm no going to go past and turn it I'm on. I'm going to sneak by and turn that on. Zap the old bastard. Oh, Christ. You've been having a, an easy time of it in here then, haven't you, Nige? Easy bloody time. Pain What's, in the ass, mate. It's a silly bastard done here. He's taken our 25mm armoured which is going to our new position in the utility room and he's terminated it onto an isolator because again the tail has come in here we've got to put it on something uh, and also our armoured cable is about eight metres long going to the new position and uh, and uh, that's with slack isn't it so yeah we've left some slack for, I'll tell you why that is in a minute but there's uh, I can't remember what the regs are ESQCR something like that um, if your tails are over three metres long you've got to fuse them down so uh, we'll have a a fuse in here and a separate isolator position just to extend the tails and to fuse it down. That also gives us our water bonding position. Uh, let's just make sure Nigel hasn't fucked this up. 
Apart from a bit of reverse polarity, it should be all right. Yeah, it kind of looks okay, doesn't it? What's, what's this? I don't know, I don't know what you're looking at. A little wire? Oh, the little one, that goes to the... Um, that goes to the... Off, the uh, clock. The, it's not in use though, is it? Isn't it? I don't know, it was there, so I'll put it in. <coughs> right, I should go and uh, have a look at the new board position well, and explain that to the to interested do, viewers. I, I was just... You are just having a fag is what you were doing. No, I was straightening my legs for a minute. Tenth fucking fag of the day. My legs. He's uh, a dirty boy, isn't he, viewers? We don't like him. <laughs> oh, God, I knew you were going to do that. The new board. There were three boards, now there's one. Uh, if it looks a little thrown against the wall, well, that's because it kind of is, really, because it's, uh, it's a, a temporary position. <laughs> uh, this room... This little utility room where they've dumped the cooker that they eventually want in their kitchen because the kitchen's in here, the kitchen's all going to get redone. Um, and so is this utility. This wall, all this wall here is going. So all that's going to go. Uh, they're probably going to extend out eventually, although we're waiting planning permission on that. But this room's getting revamped uh, internally. Uh, and eventually that board will still be on that wall but lower down, uh, we're gonna have maybe a row of wall cupboards up the top there, and this ball up board will be further down. So we've left some slack in the attic on the cables, and I haven't bothered putting them in trunking or anything, they're just going through a, uh, the edge there with some grommet strip, because again, it's, it's all gonna have to be undone. Again, I haven't, I haven't done a neat job on it, because what's the point? It's all gonna have to come out again fairly soon, and we're under the clock today, under the cosh. We've gotta get the power back on, the builder's running off a generator at the moment. So I uh, haven't uh, put much time into doing it neatly. I just wanna get the bastard thing up and running. So we've still got a cooker circuit to run into there from outside. That's the old twin and earth that was feeding DB2. That's now decommissioned. So that can go. So it's once now just finished out the back there, we've just got to move that cooker circuit in, which currently runs on the outside of the building. But again, that'll be coming out eventually when the kitchen gets redone and new, a new cable will be run. It's very interesting they did that actually, isn't it? Because we've got a circuit serving this hob, which some donut ran on the outside in Twin and Earth. But there's a fucking attic there. Why don't they just take it through the attic? That cooker cable. Why do they bother running it on the outside when they can just bung it straight in the attic to where it needs to go? Weird. Weird. Never mind. So the circuit serving that hob will be decommissioned when the kitchen gets done. So again, we've just got to disconnect that from where the Denman's board used to be and reroute it via the attic to here into this board and then uh, that's us done being up to our elbows in here. Again, great big stonking 25 mil, three core SWA feeding it. I'll go put a couple of cleats into that just to take some of the pressure off the, uh, the mechanical connection up top. Uh, and what will probably happen eventually is, because you've got the pipes as well on this wall, I imagine this will be studded out uh, and the, the gubbins lost behind there. And as I say, the board will, will drop down to a, a more sensible level at about 1200 millimetres from the floor. Bingo bongo, everyone's a winner. But for now, we've got the, uh, the board, it's got surge protection. There's been a slight change to the, the way they make these boards. This has been, we bought this quite a while ago, I think back in like February or something. It's been hanging around on site for a few months now. Uh, they've since changed the surge protection Hair's getting better, isn't it? Hair's recovering. This has changed the surge protection, so that instead of hanging off the main switch, it now hangs off a breaker. This board predated that, uh, so I bought a 32 amp breaker and connected this SPD to that. Any new ones you buy will already be configured like that, as I understand it, although CP fuse box do say there's no need to go and make the retrofit change. Uh, if you've already put boards out there with surge protection directly off the main switch. And that's just so that if the surge protection does fail short circuit, it doesn't doesn't take out your main fuse, it's got a, a localised breaker. What else does I say about that? You notice there's two MCBs there, one obviously for the SPD. The other one uh, is going to be for our armoured feed to the outbuilding, which I understand is being trenched a week after next. So uh, there will be... Uh, another armoured feed coming off this. We'll probably run a cable down through into next door where Nigel's crouched down and terminate a massive 35mm uh, two-core armoured 
to get that out to the other side. Not looking forward to that. As far as DB2 goes, it's so long and thanks for all the fish. That's uh, now powered off, its supply has been disconnected. Next job is to take all that down, uh, draw the circuits up into the attic, pop them down into here, where we've prepared a adapter wall box with a din rail, these things that we can uh, use to extend those circuits. I'm missing one earth. Shit, I meant to get that this morning. What a pain in the ass. Fiddly damn things these are, but never mind. So we'll get to get our circuits extended into there, and then that can just sit on the wall and uh, do its thing. And then we've got a few, few modifications to make. Things like this can go, that was a temporary RCD we put in to protect the ensuite we installed earlier in the year because there was no RCD protection on site, but we're going to be fully RCBO protected at source now. So there's a couple of these that can uh, come back out and be replaced with straight fuses. Like I say, we've got a bash on really because we've got the power off. Time's getting tight. We've seen the Brother E550W before, if you're a Sparky who hasn't got one yet. That's uh, just a top bit of kit. I do like to do my circuit description labels with it. Marvellous. Is that you in the Lou Nige? Yeah. Are we doing a number one or a number two? Number one. Are you sure you're not just playing with yourself in there? Oh man, Martian's on the easy jobs as usual. As usual? Is that right? We've got a fan hole and a mirror to put up in the WC. We've got to get connect up the Sockets, switches, isolators, but it does actually look like a bathroom, Nigel. Going for the Inceptor Nano in the WC, adjustable IP54, warm white, etc. Fire rated, dimmable as standard. Well, I've got to say, at least you've taken the loft bu bullet today. I, I am, I am. Fucking I didn't fancy it myself. But, but you did lose my screwdriver up there and you still haven't got it back. I know, yeah. yeah he's never going to let that go, is he? Oh, you know. uh, so what we've got here now, we've, got, we've moved the CU and now we have two en suites. Two en suites! Gosh. Uh, a light there, a dangly light in a bathroom. Don't see that very often, but it's a high ceiling and it's a class 2 IP rated light. She took some time to find one of those, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, spotlight uh, down up rather above the shower. I haven't done the fan yet. Uh, we do have a humidistat expeller to put in, but the vent's not in the roof yet. The roofers, as you can see from the scaffolding and roof tiles outside, are busy working on the roof right now. We need to put that loft hatch pack, don't we, Norwich? Yes. But we do have a rather spiffing looking bathroom. That's quite a difference to how it was a few months ago, and it was months ago, yes. wasn't it? Perseverance is key and all that crap we got there in the end. We also have half, well this has all been built out of course. This is a new wall here. Sockets are live, switch is live, got to find a matching switch for this end. And in here we have our mirror light. No loo yet. And there's our Avaya down light. We went for an adjustable one so that it would end up pointing down because it's on a slopey ceiling. And again, fan not fitted because there's no fan hole. However, Nigel, eh? walk this way if you would. Yeah. Yeah. CU's moved. You recall this ensuite? Do you remember this ensuite, Nige? January we put this in. Oh, look, there's someone walking outside. January. 
Was it January? It was January, so uh, Damn. there we go. We got again the uh, Skullmore lights up there. Uh, guess what? Well, this new bathroom is old. It's being ripped out tomorrow. <laughs> it's brand new. <laughs> Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Apparently, um, they didn't like the tiles. Well, we put her on video saying I really like the tiles. Uh, too busy, too twee, she says. Uh, so what she's going to do is she just wants a bath now instead of a shower. Can you add them and Steve it? Yeah, the shower's being ripped out and it's going to go downstairs. A bath a, here. Another ensuite, well, another bathroom going downstairs. So the shower's moving. The tiles are all getting knocked off tomorrow and it's all being retiled in something else. And a bath's going to go in, so they're going to be doing something with the floor to bring it out to about where that tile there is. So that bit's going to be tiled and a, a sort of curvy, short ass bath's going in. Oh, I thought she said the bath was going in. No, no, it's going in that corner there. She says it ends about where the where that end tiles. Wow, that is going to be a little bath, isn't it? Because she's asking for a socket out there by the loose so she can plug a radio in, which is going to be about three metres from the end of the bath, so we can just about do it. Yeah, it's squeezing it. Of course, everything is arsely protected now because we're on a new board. Look at my fucking hair, it looks terrible. And then um, next week it all starts to get exciting because you recall we have the man cave out the front, which is about 80 metres away, was it, Nigel? Uh, 80, 85, wasn't it? Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. I think I was right and you were wrong with whatever you said. Well, no, anyway, that's all ready to go now. That's all ready to be cabled out. And they're digging the trench for the armoured next week. So we're going to have to get in there and fit that out. Yep, lay, the ca lay a cable. And then lay 100 metres of 35mm 2 core, 100 metres of armoured Cat 5. Yep. They're having water down there as well, aren't they? Yeah. None of it sounds like fun, does it? Nope. So once he's moved his shit out to the man cave, we then ripping up this room so that we can feed the room below. You're a fat bastard, aren't you? Me? Not as fat as you. I've got more muscle. Muscle. You got more flab. Are you having fun, youth? Yep. Good. Work isn't supposed to be fun. That's the essential part of the experience. <coughs> An expeller humidistat fan above the shower here. That's the cell version, 12 volts. The transformer is in the attic above there. I say it's 12 volts, we've actually got it hooked up to the 7 volt output so it runs on the slower speed and quieter. But because it's humidistat, it'll run for as long as it's needed. In here, oh, I'm going to have to put a bit of fucking fill around there. We've just got a standard vent because what we've done here is we've put an inline fan in the attic for the WC again because it's off the bedroom. Help keep the noise down. We need to put a three amp fuse in the isolator. If you take that, youth. Stuff. It's going to be oh, I don't know why anybody watches this rubbish anyway. Right. <laughs> you weren't lying. Okay. It's a nice little toilet, isn't it? Can you picture yourself punching off the loaf in this little room, Polly? Also, it doesn't have a toilet. Not yet. Pinching off a loaf. Pinching off a loaf. Pinching. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. There you go. It's not too loud, is it? Mind you, I'll say, um, I'll say about putting in a quiet fan here. I suppose it doesn't matter because it's on a switch. It's manually controlled. So you don't switch it on when you've done an evil shit. Anyone venting out of the room? I'm not filming. 
This one strike filler, might have shown it before. Available at the likes of Sitters and Tool Station, but very good, very easy to use. Very malleable, gives a good finish. Oh, there's a big spider in the corner here. Do you want it in your hair? Well, I say a big one. Big in terms of spindly spider. <laughs> Okay, just got to do the tidying up. Let's go see what Nigel's doing. What are you doing, you dozy old plumbus? Oh, this damn thing split as I was drilling it, so I've got to uh, figure out another way. Plumbus. Yeah, I don't know what it means either. It's a rick and mortar thing. <coughs> Nigel's putting a socket outlet in this bathroom. Yeah, what do you think about that, YouTube, you fuckers? A socket, <laughs> socket in a bathroom. <laughs> well, what can we say? The, uh, the client has requested it, and it is three metres from the bath basin where the bath is going to be. And RCD protected, of course, because everything is now, isn't it, now that we've upgraded the board? Alright. So, fuck you. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are llamas or something, aren't they? What? Oh, <coughs> We're going to see the alpacas. Yeah. Let's go and do that. Why is it so shaky? Yeah. You're using the zoom, that's why it's shaky. Well, you got the keys, Nigel? Yeah. There yeah. we go. Do you want them? Yeah. There's a swing. Do you want to go on the swing, little girl? Yeah. Oh, there are packers. I think. <coughs> I think our packers are the ones with the triangle ears and farmers flop. Hello. They're not interested. It's because you've got nothing for them. At least when we look at sheep, they run away. Horses are quite friendly. Hear hey, that roar? What? Roar of the M40. Oh yeah. That would annoy me, that would. Meh! Yeah, I didn't notice it until you put it out. No, you won't be able to stop hearing it. Yeah. I live with you, so I'm able to tune things out pretty easily. Well, here we are, and now I'm just standing in what was the bathroom. In fact, you're standing right about where you'd ordinarily be taking a shit. And perhaps just has if you squeeze too hard just then. But they've now not that. Well, yes, we've got two windows, isn't it? Because there was a dividing wall. No sign of that anymore. We're now. One large bedroom carpet going down, I believe, next week, which is why we, uh, we wanted to get this finished off. But we got sockets where they wanted them. We got new lighting in. Wholly rewired the lighting upstairs, have we not, Nigel? Yep. Yes, David, we have. Yes. Uh, we need to put a lamp in there, don't we? Yep. This was the pokey little bit of landing that was out here, leading to the newly installed bathroom. We've already seen that, though, haven't we? This bedroom. Had some of the, it was a bit larger. They've taken away some of that space in order to create the ensuite. So this wasn't an, an ensuite that we showed in our original video, our first video when we came here. This is one of the first rooms we looked at. In fact, it's some nasty lighting in it, but not anymore because we have a click, uh, uh, sorry, a skull more. Yes. Downlight and a funky mirror. They've rather devilishly had some chap and some monkey next to him. <laughs> Lovely. Holy reward, as I say. The upstairs lighting. Not a lot's going on in that bedroom, other than just changing the lighting. And not a 
what's going on in that bedroom, other than it's changing the lighting. And the bath issue. This room, nice bright sunny room. We've still got to come back and put a couple of pendants up that uh, Hilary is selecting, but she hasn't got them here yet. Uh, however, you saw us put that on sweet in. Again, it's one of the first things we did and it got all ripped out as we've shown elsewhere. It's now uh, on sweet version 2.0. But looks the dog's cock, doesn't it, Nigel? And the spoke wardrobes, of course, uh, this is where the Hager board used to be, DB2, not anymore. These wardrobes were... Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> custom built. Custom built it off site. Someone, someone came, measured up, custom built them. Uh, and how much did you say the paint job cost on them? The paint job alone? I can't remember. Was it 1500 Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, apparently they're like sprayed or something for, for that Conti board finish. <laughs> <laughs> It's just mad, isn't it? They've done a good spray job on them, to be fair. Yeah, but, but for fifteen yeah. hundred quid, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, and the thing, I see it bugs me because I, I can see it's all custom made. But look at these gaps. If it, if it were me, that that would bug the shit out of me. I'd want them corked and then the whole thing painted in situ. I think rather than it being done off site. Obviously, the handles aren't on there yet. I'd also want that arch at the top filled in. You'd want something across the top there, wouldn't you? We're done, son. Time to pack up and pootle off. It's just for you to put in the wank bank later on. Yes. yes. Dirty old man. Anyway. That's all, folks. You miserable old git, it's the end of the day. Yeah, I want to go home, hurry up. <laughs> Just to show that things are, well, a pace. The roof's all getting sorted out. So we've got some vents going on on that end for our bathroom. Oh, to hell with this, I'm going to go and have a beer.